first seat. Just quickly, quickly, just go and sit in the first seat. Sit. Get up. Can you check it again? Push it. Check it. Is it gone? Let's clap our hands and give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. You can go back to your seat. What is the problem? Back before, when I like, get above my bed, like, you know, I crush it. I feel, I feel like it. Okay, just sit in the first seat. What is the problem? Fear and sin. For how long? Right Next seat, quickly. What about you? For how long? A lot of pain there, too? When you have your period. Did you have any pain at all like discomfort today? Not really. But just go and sit in the next seat, quickly. What about you? For how long? Well, for I had it until the operation felt just more. Would you like to be healed tonight? Do you have any symptoms or any pain right now? Today, do you have any symptoms? It's hard. My ears hurt. It causes your ears and your back to hurt. So when you sit on that seat, both symptoms will disappear. Go see. What about you? Cyst in the ovaries. How many cysts did you know how many? Minimum two or three. Two or three, big ones. When you sit over there, it will disappear. One sit. What about you? For how long? For my myself. And uh, what symptoms do you have? Um, the cramps in my um, lower How often do you have the cramps? Mm, almost every month. Every, almost every month. Did you have any cramps lately or when was that? No. You have cramps now. Now sit on that seat. And what about you? I have both here and polyps. Polyps. For how long have you had it? They keep recurring. I removed them twice and I returned about three months ago. They came back three months ago. You removed, you, it was removed how many times? Twice. Twice. And it came back three months ago. Are you tired of it? No, you can sit on that seat, my friend. Sit on your seat. Don't move. We have two, four, six, seven. Everybody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Now, it sounds so simple. Everybody say unusual miracles. Hallelujah. Say unusual miracles. Hallelujah. Now, you are sitting down. Now, oh, get up. It's funny how simple it is. A simple instruction. I said, sit on the seat. You sit. I said, get up. You get up. Can you all check yourself again right now? Check your pain, check the size, check it quickly, 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 quickly. It's not there? It's not there? It's not there? It's not there? No pain at all? Come on, let's clap our hands and praise the Lord. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. It's that quick and simple. Tonight, this afternoon, I said rapid fire. Everybody say rapid fire. Say rapid fire. Now, the reason I'm doing this, you see, seems like we have a, a, a kind of a, a small size crowd you can get to enjoy. When we get bigger, we just move fast and don't explain. But tonight, why did I say that? Because of the power of God in this place. When I spoke, every sickness has to obey me. I said, when you sit down there, it will go. You walked all the way there where when you sat down, the moment you made contact with that seat, it had to obey. Can somebody say amen? amen? Do you have any pain there right this moment? You were having it when you were standing here, but you went and sat down there and the pain left. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> amen. Now, all of you that are here that are here, go back to your seats. Let's take the next group. Quickly, what is it? Fibroids for how long? But now, see how people think. All of a sudden, they will start making a ritual out of a revelation. Because now they are thinking, okay, I'm going to go sit in that seat too. How many of you were thinking they're going to sit in that seat? Tell the truth now. Just come on, put your hand up if you, if you were thinking I was going to send them to that seat. You see, that's exactly how people think. God does something this way, we make a ritual out of it. Supposing we decide a different way. Why are you going to put God in that box now? 
Can somebody say amen? amen. Now let's let's have fun and do this. What I realize is he says he played with children's bread. Yeah. You know what children do with bread? They play with it. Tonight, every sickness that is within the sound of my voice is subject to me. Can somebody say amen? amen. Now you see you have five words. For how long? I said, how long time? For two years. It has come back. After two years, it's come back. Now, do you have any symptoms of pain there? Side pain. Now, stand over here. Right there. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to look into your eyes. And I'll look at that side pain and the pain will disappear. Where is the pain? Well, just check it. Push it and check it. Are you looking for it? I said when I look at you and look at the pain, it's gone. That's what I said. So what are you looking for? Let's clap our hands and praise the Lord. Now, it's so simple. Now, if, if I did something like I come and you know, push you and do all those things, you might think, wow. But there's a bigger power but the word of God. When I speak, those demons stay. I'm not sweating tonight. It's hot in Jamaica, but I'm not going to sweat. You can go back to your seat. Let's clap our hands and praise the Lord. Everybody's on usual miracles. What is the problem? Epilepsy. The how did he end up in the line? I'm teaching some lessons now. How did he come to the line? I, <laughs> I actually began to assume that everybody who had a health issue. <laughs> <laughs> she is too cute. She made the assumption that everybody that has a health issue will join the line. How many of you want to be healed tonight? Amen. Look at that. So that's how many people will be on this line. But it will take forever. But I'm going to help you. Can somebody say hey, Amen. amen. Can yeah, somebody say amen? amen? Now, if I help out, don't jump on the line too. You're going to get healed wherever you are. Amen. Can I have a big amen? amen? I'm trying to teach you some lessons. Now, how long have you had epilepsy? Four, four years. Four years? Okay. I was diagnosed four years ago. Four years ago. Come forward. Just step forward. Turn around. Turn all the way around. Jesus. It is gone. When I looked at you, I saw in the back of your brain where the trigger for the epilepsy was. I looked inside of your brain, I could see the trigger. It's like a, some seizures, it's just like a trigger, it's like electrical signals, and then it causes you to black out. And then I see that's what I saw. Is that what happens normally to you? But when I just said, come out, it left. It was a spirit. It's gone. Amen. 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 It will never return. No more blessed. Are you happy now? Now she's happy and she's smiling. Let's clap our hands and give the Lord praise. Enjoy that miracle. Everybody say unusual miracle. Say unusual miracle. Okay, come here, sweetie. What is the problem? Um, I'm not sure if it's fibroidosis, but I've got a lot of cramps and health issues and a lot of flats. And I've been having like this for 20 years. For how many years? 12 years of miscarriages. Would you like a baby? In fact, you're going to get twins. You're going to have two sets of twins. In nine months, you have the first set. Another 18 months. After that, you have the second set. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Because the Bible declares, he will remove the reproach from the barren woman. 
there shall not be one barren amongst our land and none shall miscarry are you hearing me in fact as i'm talking to you i want you to check check yourself right now everything is gone how is that right now it's fine no more pain nothing there it's gone are you are you really sure let's clap our hands and give a praise hallelujah amen go back and uh, make sure you send us the pictures of the twins and then the next twins let's clap our hands and praise the lord